Hi, this is Don, and uh, today I'm going to be talking about the relationship between the automobile and society. I will be referring to the automobile as the car throughout this video blog. Uh, so let's start with the history of the automobile. It actually dates back to uh, the 1600s when steam engine vehicles were being developed in China. And uh, right up through the 19th century, there were more developments made and uh, which eventually brought us to the four-wheeled vehicle that we know today um, as the car of the automobile. Um, and in the 20th century uh, we know all about Henry Ford and everything like that and uh, a lot of vehicles were actually developed around that time for uh, World War II and then they were later used um, for commercial use for, for everyday citizens and um, eventually electricity and, and internal combustion engines were used uh, to create these vehicles. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about uh, the relationship between automobiles and society. Uh, human interactions and human actions uh, can help change and shape the technology in cars and automobiles. Over the years as things change, such as changes in population, um, changes in technology such as Bluetooth and, and uh, you know LED lights and everything like that, um, cars have had to advance as well. Um, also things like car accidents, more people on the road um, has you know called for an increase in uh, safety features on vehicles. Um, so over the years cars have evolved to keep up with these safety and convenience trends. Um, so today average people uh, see cars as a convenient form of transportation to get to and from uh, work, school, a friend's house, you know, to go shopping, um, and, and take the occasional vacation. Um, there's a there's a different group of people who collect cars or trucks. Um, they they may be classic or expensive or unique vehicles that they collect, um, and that would be a different social class as opposed to the average everyday person who just uses the car for you know their the everyday use. Okay. Um, now we could talk about how uh, technology uh, and automobiles in particular is shaping the way people behave. Um, so. Because, you know, a person may have a car or an automobile, they actually now have the ability to travel further distances than they were able to in the past, you know, hundreds of years ago. You know, now it wouldn't be absurd for somebody from New York to drive to Florida, even, say. Um, and, you know, then they're exposed to different social groups and, you know, different climates, different, you know, a different, a different world almost. Uh, just due to the the invention of the automobile, um, it allows people to interact with, you know, more people than just the people in their you know local community, um, and it, it allows people to earn income in different ways. You know, they can travel further to a job site now. They can use their vehicle for work for a delivery service, say, um, and, and people also get to see more of the world than they would have been able to see more. You know, they can physically be there as opposed to seeing it on television or on the internet. Um, now, there are some conflicts that come between automobiles and, and humans, of course. Um, you know, cars are, are costly and require routine maintenance. Um, not to mention there's, you know, the legal aspects. You have to abide by the laws of the road. And, you know, you, you, you may if you break a law, you, you get a ticket, and then you have to pay a ticket, and that can affect you in different ways. Um, also, cars, um, you know, as with any machine, can break down and wear down, and, and this could be a problem if you rely on the vehicle heavily, um, you know, to get to and from work, say. Um, you know, if you get, you get up in the morning and your car doesn't start and you're late for work, that, that can definitely have an effect on you. Um, okay, and... The automobile can actually affect social relationships between humans. Um, people can get into an accident, a car accident with someone else, and you know this could be a um, you know cause for a controversy or, or, or an issue uh, between those two people or, or, or family members who are affected by it. Um, 
people let, you know, someone they know borrow a car, and then they're responsible for what happens, you know, if there is an incident with that vehicle. Um, and, and also, it, what the automobile can do is it can teach people to be responsible. Um, you know, if you own your own vehicle, you know that uh, you, you have to make payments on time, you have to have car insurance, you have to maintain it. Um, you know, you have to pay for, for any tickets you may get linked with the vehicle. And um, all of this can actually, you know, help you become a more responsible person. Uh, so that's a little bit about the automobile and its relationship, uh, the relationship between the automobile and society. Thank you.